Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel Physics Safari. Well, uh, today the recording is happening in different ways. So uh, maybe there is some issue with the mic. So let us try this method. Then we'll continue. We'll make some more videos on this format. Nainto, we will be back on the whiteboard in a couple of days. So time to save karne ke liye, I've come over here on this platform. Or happy hum log aaj ka kaam karenge. So fatafat start karte hain. And this is the question that I gave you as a homework in the previous uh, lesson. I believe you guys have given it a try. Nahi kiye ho, to pause the video and try karo. Uske baad hum saath mein kaam karenge. Anaji? The question was find the minimum distance. Find the minimum distance between the object A and B. Between A and B. Between A and B. Hamara question by A wala tha, na? Again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to observe the things from A. A se B ko observe karenge aur dekhte hai kya hota hai. Energy? So before that, let us first write the velocities of A and B in the vector form velocity of A. And the velocity of B, we would write in the vector form. We're going to break the components. 10 is the with angle of 45 degree. So I'm sure you guys are okay. 10 upon root 2 this side. And 10 upon root 2 this side. Likewise, this is velocity of 7 upon 70 upon root 2. And this is 70 upon root 2. So velocity of A in the vector form should be how much? 10 upon root 2, I cap plus 10 upon root 2 j cap or bigger kitna ho jayega? minus 70 upon root 2 i cap plus 70 upon root 2 j cap if i'm observing it from the frame of a so observe karenge hum log the velocity of b with respect to a should be how much velocity of b minus velocity of a ye apan ko mil jayega simple si baat hai na okay the velocity of b is how much minus 70 upon root 2 minus 10 upon root 2, so negative 80 upon root 2, i cap, and this taraf kitna ho jayega ji? 70 upon root 2, minus 10 upon root 2, so plus 60 upon root 2, j cap, and this is the velocity of b with respect to a. So, ek, ek, ek naya figure mana lete hai, which are going to be the relative case mein na, so I am observing it from the frame of a, so a would be at rest, a ko look, Rest पर रख लेंगे, है ना? Okay, maybe we can do one thing. इसको next page बनाते हैं, ज़्यादा अच्छा रहेगा ना? So this is your uh, A, इधर ऊपर में है और इस तरफ B कहीं है, है ना? So if I'm observing it from the frame of A, so A would be at rest, and the B would appear to move at a certain distance from at a certain velocity with respect to A. So this is your body B. एक काम करते हैं, let us find the angle of this relative velocity, है ना? इसका भी angle निकाल लेते हैं. B go deco, the B should be like this. The velocity of B finally should be given as 60 upon root 2 in this direction and uh, 80 upon root 2 in this direction. Clear enough? Then the you know relative velocity of B with respect to A should be somewhere here. Angle nikala ko muskil ka meri liye bhi hai nahi. Uh, let's assume that this angle is theta. This ko theta mali. If it is theta, this is the velocity of B with respect to A. Tan of theta should be how much, dear? tan of theta should be uh, 80 uh, upon root 2 upon a block kitna ho jayega 60 upon root 2 i believe you, you know how to do this right this is your velocity this one and uh, if you draw this one you know and uh, this is what we have this is your 60 upon root 2 aur ye bhai sahab ka hai 80 upon root 2 so this goes and this is angle so finding this angle is not a big deal that should be how much 4 upon 3 so tan of theta my dear should be 4 upon 3. That means theta is what? 53 degree. Is me koi sande nahi hona chahiye. Kya bolte ho? Hana? Everyone? All right then. Here we have. Now let's let's have a look at this one. Now this vertical angle is 53 degree. It means it should go somewhat like this. Aisa kuch isko jana chahiye. Having vertical angle being 53 degree. E, this is your 53 degree. This is your 53 degree. Theta is ko man ke chal rahe. What are we supposed to find here? We need this shortest distance. So this is your D minimum. This is your D minimum. Here we have A and here we have B. Let us name this point. And this perpendicular, let's suppose this is M. 
A, B, C, this is C, and this length is given as how much? 110 meter in the given question. And this finally, my dear student, is a velocity of B with respect to A, and this would be relatively going in this direction, having angle 53 degree. Chalo, kama san ho gaya. This is 53. This also should be 53. Bhaiya, ye bhi kitna ho jayega ji? 53. So this also is 53. Mai isko yaha likh de raha hon. A lo 53. I want, I want AM. I want AM. That is a D minimum. So in this triangle APM, in triangle APM, can I say, my dear friends, sine of 53 degree should be AM upon AP. That implies that AM, which is D minimum, should be AP. Sine 53 is how much? 4 upon 5. So to find this shortest distance, which is AM, what we need? We need AP. Apne ho chahiye kya? AP chahiye. So AP ni kalna koi bada muskil kaam nahi hai. Find AP, I'm going to use this triangle. So yeh ho gaya aapka 37 degree. Or uh, tan 37, kitna ho jaya ho Tan 37 should be this PC. Or uh, upon CB. Upon CB. So this implies that PC should be tan 10 37 should be how much 3 upon 4 3 upon 4 into cb cb is how much 110 which means 2 times of 2 or 255 that means the length of pc we got which is how much 165 meter e ho gaya. Uh, upon 3 sorry my bad upon 3 e kitna ho gaya? Uh, no upon 2 upon 2 upon 2 okay energy okay I got this length as how much? 165 upon 2. So finding this distance should be how much? 100 minus 165 upon 2. Because the length was height was given as how much? 100 meter. So I can easily get the value of AP. AP should be 100 minus 165 upon 2, which is 200 minus 65. 35 upon 2. 35 upon 2 meter is the height uh, or the length of this AP. Now, since I know this, we can easily get the value of uh, AM. So, chalo, answer mil gaya. AM, which is nothing but your D minimum. D minimum is your AM. That should be equal to how much? AP times 4 upon 5. AP is how much? 35 upon 2 and 4 upon 5. 5, 7, ja, 2 times of 2. That means 14 meter. So, bachyo, man ke sachyo, aapka D minimum jo ho gaya ji. D minimum should be 14 meter, koi dikkat, koi samasya kisi ko, that is your answer. So, finding D minimum, you know, bhoat simple sa tarika hota hai. We're going to use the help of uh, geometry and of course, our relative velocity concept. Or thoda bhoat angle ka kaam karke hum log is mein kar sakte hai. Thik hai, chalo. Abhi next concept jo hai aapka, that is the velocity of approach or separation. Next heading liko bachcho, velocity of approach, velocity of approach, or separation. We will talk about this. Velocity of approach and separation. Now, I have already given you a few concepts in the previous class. What is the velocity of approach and separation? Kya hota hai, hai na? I think I have told you that if you, if you let's suppose the body is going in this direction, or uh, I think I have kar rakha rakha this. Na? So, hum uspe, I think we have done this. So, we will not do it again. We will not do it again. Or uh, time is important. Fada -fada, uh, question pe aate hai. Na, uh, fada -fada question pe aate hai. So let's question karwata hai pada aapse. Thoda samajna. Let's suppose I have a body, a triangle hai. You know, a equilateral triangle hai, aisa kuch hai. I have objects like A is here, B is here, or is vertex ko C maan lo. This A is moving in this direction at one meter per second. And B is moving in this direction at 1 meter per second. It is an equilateral triangle. So, sorry, angle 60 hongi. So, the question number one aapka hai, find the velocity of approach approach of A with respect to B at point number one, because part one number one, at time t is equal to zero second. And part number two that you need to understand is at time t is equals to five seconds. 
अपने को निकालना भैया वेलोसिटी ऑफ ए विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू बी फॉर द टू गिवन टाइम्स एंड दिस दिस इज हाउ द बॉडीज आर मूविंग ऐसे वो बॉडी मूव कर रहा है है ना तो ठीक है कहानी बड़ा सिंपल है इसको हम लोग आराम से कर सकते हैं देखो यू नो विनो दैट हमने आई थिंक लास्ट क्वेश्चन में कर रखा है कि अप्रोच क्या होता है वेलोसिटी ऑफ सेपरेशन क्या होता है अप्रोच मीन द वेलोसिटी विथ विच दे आर अप्रोचिंग इच अदर इज कॉल्ड द वेलोसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच और कितने से दूर जा रहा है दैट इज कॉल्ड वेलोसिटी ऑफ सेपरेशन Now, if I if I look at this one, if I look at this one, B is going what? B is going in this direction, and A is approaching it in this direction. Now, this angle is go. I have to know this. This angle is how much? Sixty degree. So, a component of this, component of this, along this should be how much? Its component is how much? One cos sixty means one upon two. And this itself is moving in at one meter per second. This is A. This is B. So the velocity of A with respect to B along this path is called the velocity of approach. I'm not even reading, right? This line, the line joining the two bodies, is how much velocity is relative? That is called velocity of approach. That should be velocity of A along this path minus velocity of B along that path. A's velocity is how much? You know, velocity of A with respect to A is how much? One meter. Right? Which is your which direction? Go positive, mind you, or is go over negative, mind you? Mind you. So this is going to be how much one minus the velocity of b is in that direction. So it's going to be negative of one upon two. So here you have got three upon two meter per second. So the velocity of approach of a with respect to b would be three upon two meter per second. Our first story is done. Now let's talk about the second part. Let's talk about time b is equal to five seconds. So let's say that in five seconds, the body b is here. बॉडी ए इज हियर है ना वो इक्वली क्योंकि स्पीड सेम है वेलोसिटी सेम है वो इधर कहीं आ जाएगा ना इट मीन्स लेट्स बोल आम जस्ट सेइंग दैट इफ इट इज मिड पॉइंट इवन दिस इज गोन बी मिड पॉइंट आम नॉट सेइंग ऑल द टाइम इट्स गोन बी द मिड पॉइंट ओनली कुछ भी हो सकता है तो एक काम करते हैं दिस इज द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ ए आप सॉरी दिस इज द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ ए दिस इज द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ बी एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इन दोनों के बीच का जो लाइन ज्वाइनिंग होगा दैट शुड बी दिस मच All good. Now, if you look at this one, if you probably look at this one, I want to find the velocity of a with respect to b. Velocity of a with respect to b. So, this angle, if I draw, pull it like this. This angle should also be a sixty a, a sixty a, a sixty a, a one twenty a b sixty. Or this also is going to be sixty. Along this path, velocity of a should be how much? One meter per second upon cos theta or sixty. So one upon two is the side. Or its ka bhi kitna hai? One meter is in this direction. Is direction ka long kitna ho jayega? One upon two. So to clearly dikh raha hai mere ko ki velocity of a with respect to b should be how much? Zero. Ab ko ho jayega ji? Zero. Isme kisi ko doubt? Nee na? Bahut achhe. The velocity of b. Uh, a with respect to b should be zero because both same direction hai with the same magnitude that should be zero pani koi dikkat okay ab thoda isi ko aage leke chalte hain aur thoda isko aur acche question ko dekhte hain now my dear you know this question is present uh, almost in every book aapko scv mein mil jayega ek question to pehle question dekhte hain question hai kya bhaiya jo question hai na bachcho wo aisa kuch hai ki ek are yaar ek ban gaya isko hatate hain question hai ki there is an equilateral triangle hai उसमें बॉडीज आर मूविंग द बॉडीज आर मूविंग ऑन दिस इक्विटल ट्राइंगल और उनके वेलोसिटीज का कुछ स्पेसिफिकेशन है वो मैं आपसे अभी बताने वाला हूँ वो मैं आपको अभी बताने वाला हूँ तो लेट से दिस इज योर ऑब्जेक्ट ए दिस इज ऑब्जेक्ट बी और दिस इज सी ए इज मूविंग टूवर्ड्स बी एट वेलॉसिटी यू बी इज अप्रोचिंग सी एट वेलॉसिटी यू एंड सी इज अप्रोचिंग ए एट वेलॉसिटी यू हमेशा एक दूसरे के पीछे ही रहते हैं है ना एक दूसरे के पीछे ही रहेंगे दे वुड ऑलवेज बी बिहाइंड द अनदर ऑब्जेक्ट ए हमेशा बी के पीछे रहेगा बी हमेशा सी के पीछे रहेगा और जो सी है वो हमेशा ए के पीछे रहेगा नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द टाइम फाइंड द टाइम व्हेन ऑल दीज थ्री ऑल दीज बॉडीज लाइट कब मिलेंगे कितने टाइम पे दे वुड मीट तो क्वेश्चन तो अच्छा है 
But say if you start a okay, site length model, if for example, if you start working on it as if without the concept of relative velocity, up to like jaygi lanka. Energy. So what we have to do? So let's suppose that in certain time, small time, you know, a reached here. A here came. Okay. A have reached here. And B is here. C is here. Now if you look at the velocity of A with his towards the B, it will be like And B would be pointed towards C as A. And C would be pointed towards A in this direction. It will be pointed towards Now again in some time, T, the body is here. So then the same thing. A has come here. And C would be here. So let me join these two. It will be like और ये भाई साहब का हो गया ऐसे और ये आपका हो गया ऐसे एंड इट विल कीप ऑन गोइंग ऐसा ही कहानी चलता रहेगा ऐसा ही कहानी वो अपना वो चलता रहेगा ऐसे होगा वो यहां पे इट शुड बी लाइक दिस और इधर भाई साहब यहां पे आ जाएंगे फिर यहां गया यहां गया यहां 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 मतलब जान ही देता हूं तो है ना ऐसे अच्छा या तो फाइनली दे वुड मीट एट द centroid of the triangle which normally we represent as g so centroid or coordinate nikalna koi mushkil kaam nahi hai but one thing you should also understand ki if i would have taken if i would have seen the velocity of the body from the ground frame dekho kaisa dikhega wo aise dikhega na ya yo ho na this is how the a would appear to uh, to the person standing out aur b kaisa dikhega aise ya ke aise aise c would be like this na aise so this looks a very much typically complicated path, na? Asa karna muskil usko isko solve karna is a difficult task. Muskil kaam. Now I know that the body is gonna meet at centroid. So let's observe. Let's observe from the frame of centroid. Frame of centroid. Ab centroid pe baat ke chitti ban ke centroid pe baat jayenge. Aur fir dekhenge bhaiya kitna time leta hai usko meet karne ke. But for that we should have this distance. A mean distance. We know that centroid divides the entire median in the ratio of 2 is to 1. And median we can have a muscle kam nahi in a equilateral triangle. Having known this angle 60, this side is A. So root 3 times A upon 2 would be the length of this. And since it divides the median in a ratio of 2 is to 1, so this length to find. That should be 2 upon 3 ratio concept a upon a plus b times this the length of the center median. This would be cancelled. We should be having how much? a upon root 3 is the length of the median. Or median ke length ho gaya, a upon root 3. I know that, my dear, not median ka length, sorry, is ka length, this part ka length, which means this part and this part are equal. So this length is how much? We got now is a upon root 3. Velocity of A with respect to the centroid should be velocity of A minus velocity of centroid. And since we are sitting on the centroid, the centroid definitely is not moving. We move nahi kar ra, the velocity of A along this path we can find. This angle is how much? This is 30 degree. This is a U or a A magnetic curve. So you, this should be how much? U cos 30. That means root 3 u upon 2. So the time taken to meet should be how much? Uh, the distance, which is a upon root 3, upon the velocity, which is root 3 u upon 2. So the answer is So 2 a upon 3 u should be the time in which the word is good would meet. Correct? I'm going to teach you an easier method. This is the method. Okay, then <clears throat> let us come to this page. If I look at the velocity of A and B, so let's suppose this is your A, this is your B. This is having a velocity of u in this direction, having angle 60. And this is approaching in this direction. Of course, this angle is 60. If I observe from the frame of A, then B, this is how it's going to look like. A would be at rest. 
and B should move along this path to meet A क्योंकि A तो भी रुक गया है तो B ही जाएगा A की तरफ तभी तो मीट करेगा एंड विनो तेरे को ना मीट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द वेलोसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच ऑफ B वी कैन फाइंड द वेलोसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच ऑफ B जैसा कि हमने पिछले क्वेश्चन में करा था वो ये ये U है तो दिस इज़ गोइंग बी हाउ मच U cos 60 U cos 60 वुड बी हाउ मच U upon 2 तो वेलोसिटी ऑफ b विद रिस्पेक्ट टू a माय डियर बच्चों इज गोना बी माइनस u अपॉन 2 माइनस u दैट इज नेगेटिव 3u अपॉन 2 इज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ b विद रिस्पेक्ट टू a नेगेटिव मींस इट इज मूविंग टुवर्ड्स लेफ्ट बाकी कोई दिक्कत नहीं है टाइम शुड बी हाउ मच द डिस्टेंस व्हिच इज a लेंथ ऑफ द साइड अपॉन 3u अपॉन 2 द टाइम शुड बी हाउ मच 2a अपॉन 3u जो कि हमें पिछले क्वेश्चन में भी ऐसा ही मिला था टू ए अपॉन थ्री यू थ्री यू है ना कितना सिंपल है ना ऑल गुड सो यू नो विद दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वेलोसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच वी कैन सॉल्व द क्वेश्चंस क्वाइट इजली हम लोग बहुत मजे से और बहुत आसानी से अच्छे क्वेश्चन कर सकते हैं एक और एग्जांपल देखते हैं सपोज की एक बॉडी जो है भाई इज अ बॉडी विच इज मूविंग इन द स्क्वायर पाथ एंड लेट सपोज दिलोसिटी ऑफ दिस इज यू दिस इज योर ए और बी जो है वो सी uh, की तरफ भाग रहा है वेलोसिटी एंड सी इज मूविंग एट द सेम वेलोसिटी टुवर्ड्स ए और ए इज मूविंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन एट द सेम वेलोसिटी यू मैं तुम्हारे पीछे तुम किसी और के पीछे वो किसी और के पीछे वाला कहानी चल रहा है ना तो ठीक है वही करेंगे लेटस लेटस और ऑब्जर्व इट फ्रॉम द फ्रेम ऑफ ए इस केस में यू नो दिलोसिटी ऑफ बीज एट राइट एंगल तो देर वुड नॉट बी एनी कॉम्पोनेट ऑफ बी दैट वुड एक्ट अलॉन्ग यू नो द लाइन ज्वाइनिंग ए बी So, we are time velocity of b with respect to a should be how much? Velocity of b along this path is zero, and velocity of a along this path is how much? Uh, minus of u. So, the velocity will be of b with respect to a should be u meter per second towards left. If you negative sign hai, we have a towards left hoga. Is me kisi ko doubt ya dikkat nahi hona chahiye. So, time taken should be how much? Mere pyaar bachcho, that is going to be how much? A upon u should be the time taken. To meet these bodies, any doubts? If anyone has, you know, no doubt, neither. चलो इसी बात पे एक और क्वेश्चन करते हैं. So you know, if they give you no matter whatever shape they give you, you can actually do it easily. कर लोगे. Let's suppose if I have a hexagon type, कुछ है ना shape ऐसा मेरे को मिल गया जहाँ पे body body move कर रहा है जी है ना ऐसा कोई shape है. Which let's suppose is the hexagon type. Try and draw one. है. तो ठीक है ऐसा मान लो कि hexagon है बच्चों. This is the hexagon. एक दूसरे के पीछे हमेशा सेम वेलोसिटी से वो लगा रहता है So I'm going to use the concept of relative velocities, approach, velocity of approach. But before that, let us figure out the angles. It's a hexagon, so sum of angles should be how much? A six minus two four times one twenty seven twenty. So each angle, since it's a regular hexagon, each angle should be seven twenty upon six. Uh, That means one hundred and twenty degree. So by saab, this angle is going to be one hundred and twenty degree. So this angle को निकालना मेरे लिए कोई बड़ा मुश्किल काम नहीं है. ये कोई टेनी खीर नहीं है तो भैया ये 60 है दिस इज यू तो यू कॉस 60 इज हाउ मच 1 अपॉन 2 और ये भाई साहब तो यू से मूव ही कर रहे हैं तो 1 अपॉन 2 यू दैट इज यू बाय 2 सो द वेलोसिटी ऑफ बी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ए सो द वेलोसिटी ऑफ बी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ए इफ आई एम ऑब्जर्विंग इट फ्रॉम हियर और ये आपका बी हो गया और बी के पास हॉरिजॉन्टल डायरेक्शन इसमें कितना वेलोसिटी है यू अपॉन 2 And uh, you know, uh, uh, or a के पास कितना है? U है ना? So velocity of b with respect to a should be how much? U upon two minus c, which is going to be how much? Minus u upon two. Minus means b is going to go towards in the opposite direction towards a. So the velocity of b with respect to a I know. So time taken should be a upon negative तो कोई मतलब नहीं. That is all about the direction. Which is going to be how much? Two a upon u. Is the time taken by the objects to collide? All good, ji. Could it cut anyone? If anyone has any doubts, 
can let me know so yeah that would be all for the velocities of approaches and velocity of separation isme bahut kuch kahani hum log ke paas aage hai aur maine bataya tha ki bhaiya relative angular velocity kya hota hai omega is equals to v perpendicular upon the length ye sab maine bataya tha next topic next class is going to be on relative angular velocity chaho to aapko thoda sa theory padhkar aana this is on the relative angular velocity angular velocity the next topic is going to be this concept relative angular velocity और इसका जो मेजरिंग यूनिट है रेडियन पर सेकंड में इसको हम लोग मेजर करते हैं तो दिक्कत किसी को है ना तो ठीक है लेट अस लेट अस स्टॉप टिल हियर ओनली आई बिलीव आई हैव मेड दिस पॉइंट ऑफ दिस कांसेप्ट ऑफ वेलोसिटी ऑफ अप्रोच इन सेपरेशन क्लियर आप इसे क्वेश्चंस करना और हम लोग अगले वीडियोस में मिलेंगे जहां पे कि हम लोग बात करेंगे रिलेटिव एंगुलर वेलोसिटी के बारे में बात करेंगे अच्छा टॉपिक होने वाला है डू नॉट मिस दैट ध्यान से पढ़ना सो लेट्स लेट्स कैच यू गाइस इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियोस टिल देन कीप लर्निंग and keep studying take care bye everyone